Welcome to Twilio Tip Tuesdays. Twilio tips are never longer than two minutes, so let's get started. Tip number four is the basics of sending and receiving SMS. To send an SMS, you simply make an API request to Twilio to send an outbound message. For instance, your web server sends a post request to slash messages inside of Twilio, and Twilio will send an SMS to a user. You typically do this with code, and this is the code to do this in a Node.js application. We bring in the Twilio REST client and use it to create a message from a number in our Twilio account to another phone number with a certain body text. Handling inbound SMS works in reverse. When an incoming text message comes in, Twilio makes an HTTP request to a web server looking for Twiml instructions on what to do. We covered Twiml in Twilio tip number two. In this case, a user sends a text message to your Twilio phone number. Twilio makes an HTTP request to a server. That server needs to return some Twiml, and if the Twiml indicates that Twilio should send a message, then it sends a reply back to the user. There's a bunch of different ways to set up your Twilio phone number to handle incoming text messages, and we'll take a look at how those work right now. If you head to your phone number configuration and scroll down to where it says a message comes in, you'll see that you have some options here. The webhook option allows you to specify a URL that Twilio will reach out to on your server. We also have Twiml, Function, and Studio Flow. If you set this to Twiml, you can create a Twiml bin that returns some static templatable Twiml back to Twilio. If you set this to Function, you can use Twilio functions to write some Node.js code to generate the Twiml. And if you set this to Studio Flow, you can use Twilio Studio to do this visually. An incoming text message in this case responds with the hello text. If you would like to learn more about this, head over to the docs at twilio.com slash docs slash SMS.